Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is episode seven of Manifest With Me in March. So where are we at in the manifestation cycle? It is currently the new moon, which means it's time to write down your intentions and to clarify them and to set them. So yesterday's episode was definitely a must watch. If you haven't already, watch yesterday's episode because what we did yesterday is we wrote down all of the things that we wanted to manifest onto a piece of paper in detail. And I talked exactly like how to do that. So if you missed that episode, don't worry, you're not behind because each phase of the moon cycle lasts like a couple of days. So you actually have a good amount of time to do this process. I'll be sure to let you guys know when it's like the last day or like the deadline to get certain parts of the process done. So if you're a little bit behind or if you are just joining this process, I have the playlist below if you want to catch up on some of the older episodes. The only episode you really need to watch so far is yesterday's episode and obviously today's. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be clarifying our intentions. Now that you have all of your intentions written down on a piece of paper, you're going to find a way to make a mood board or a vision board of exactly what it is that you want to manifest. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. You can get a big poster board or a piece of paper and you can actually like draw the things that you want to manifest or paint them or create them if like you're very artistic. If you are not as artistically inclined, you can always find like newspaper clippings and magazine clippings to make like a little collage to illustrate your manifestations. Uh, my favorite way personally is to go online and make like a collage online. I like to use Pinterest. So you can go on Pinterest, you can make a private board. I highly recommend that if you're doing this online using like an app or something that's more like social media based to make sure that it's private so no one else can see it. It's very important to protect your manifestations from other people's judgments or you know, just so you feel safe with it and what you're trying to manifest. So it's very important to make sure that you set that vision board to private, okay? So you can do that using Pinterest and then you can add pictures of what you like feel like describes the things you wanna manifest to this vision board. So for example, if you're trying to manifest a specific amount of money, like let's say $3,000, you can go on Pinterest or the internet or whatever, type in $3,000 or a pile of cash or a check for $3,000. And you can take the picture of that and add it to your vision board. If you are trying to manifest um, like a home or an apartment, you can put pictures of like what your dream home or your dream apartment would, would, would look like. If you're trying to manifest travel to a specific place, you can put pictures of that place. If you're trying to manifest a soulmate, you can find pictures of like maybe what this person could look like. <laughs> you know, if you're imagining maybe someone that's got blonde hair and blue eyes and is tall, muscular, whatever, um, then you can definitely put pictures of someone like that on your vision board. And also think about what, what type of things would you like to do with this person? Like you could find pictures of cuddles, uh, couples that are cuddling on couches, maybe romantic dates and find a picture of somebody like proposing or, you know, whatever, just get creative with it. Last year, I had a lot of people asking me in the comments when I did this video for last year's Manifest With Me, uh, like, I wanna manifest this. What picture do you think would be good to illustrate that? And I always wanna help you guys, but I think it's really important that you use your imagination and your creativity to figure that out because this is your process. And it's important that it's, it's all about your mind and what, and what your mind would see um, that beam. So there could be some really abstract things you're trying to manifest. Like you guys saw yesterday, one of the things I wrote down was um, like working on my anxiety and feeling better. And so I feel like for me, a picture that would help illustrate that might be like a calm, like scenery out in nature, or like the sunshine or something. And only uh, me looking at that picture would know, okay, that's that illustrates like how I would feel if my anxiety lessened. 
So, you know, this is your process, get creative. Ultimately, if there's certain things you can't find a picture for, or you just like, I just don't even know, don't worry about it. You don't have to put it on your vision board. Simply writing it down is enough. This vision board thing is extra credit, um, but I have noticed that this has made a big difference in my life, okay? For me, this whole getting onto this lifestyle of being a digital nomad and traveling the world, going from like not really having the means to do that and being in a, a situation I thought was impossible to doing what I'm doing now, it started with a vision board for me. Like I wrote it down, I made a vision board and like it works, you know? Have, have any of you guys seen that movie, The Secret? Now, The Secret and that movie and that whole concept kind of makes it out to be like, it's more of a uh, just, just believe it, make your vision board and believe and it will happen, which I am gonna be talking to you guys in, a, in about a week about how you have to take action and how to do that. So yes, you're gonna have to take some action towards your goals. But <clears throat> I do like how that movie, The Secret and the, the books and stuff talk a lot about the mindset and talk a lot about like making a vision board and how important that part of the process is. So you have a couple days still to write down your list and to make your vision board, okay? So if you're behind or these videos are posted too early or too late for you or whatever, don't worry about it. You always are gonna have a, a couple extra days for, to do every video. Um, but I'm gonna make this video now kind of jump ahead to me working on an example for you guys of how to use Pinterest to do this process. And I hope that that really helps. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. So if you wanna make your mood board on Pinterest, all you have to do is just pull up Pinterest. This is my Pinterest, you guys. As you can see, I've actually been doing this for a while. I've made boards in the past. You just click the plus sign, go to create board, and you can name your board whatever you want. You can name it My Manifestations or Manifest With Me 2020. I'm just making a title for my vision board here. And then I will hit create. And then there might be something like this that pops up. You can just click out of it, which is what I'm gonna do. And if you wanna add pins that you've saved on your phone, you click here, but I'm just gonna search on Pinterest. You guys saw from yesterday, I'm trying to manifest a horse. So I'm gonna type in the kind of horse I'm interested in, and I'm gonna find photos that remind me of what this beautiful horse would be like, and I'm going to save it to my board here. So I'm just scrolling down, and I'm gonna find pictures of anything I like that reminds me of my manifestation. And I'm adding it all to my board. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> yeah, so just adding things to my board. It's really easy, you just click save. Any pictures that remind me of what I would like to manifest. I'm also gonna go further and obviously I'm gonna need some type of stable or some type of place or environment to keep my horse nice and safe and protected and looked after. So I'm just adding pictures of what that would look like, the kind of property I might have, anything that reminds me of like what it would look like and I'm adding that to my board as well. And then just like anything extra, like I'm gonna look for a saddle here. Then I was realizing, you know what? Might be better than a regular saddle, a vegan saddle. So that's what I'm gonna type in here, vegan saddle. And a lot of saddle bags, but I found one right here that's like a vegan saddle. And so I'll add that to my board. And then horseback riding on the beach. That's something I think would be really fun to do with my horse. 
if I can just get the spelling right. <laughs> I can just spell it right. There we go. Close enough. And I'm just looking at a picture. Ooh, that one's cute. It has a white horse. I'll add that one to my board. And then as you guys can see, check out this board. This is what I have so far. I'm of course going to add so many other things to it for what I want to manifest, but this is just an example. Get creative with your vision board. Add pictures to it that make you happy and that help to show what your manifestations would look like. I think that this is the funnest part of manifesting. Like this is the favorite part for me. If you want bonus points in your description, you can write more about your manifestations because you can describe like what your board is. So right there in that box, you can type that in. Um, and if you really want to go overboard in every picture, you can even write a description. So here I'm going to write, I love horseback riding on the beach with my sweet horse. So you can go through every picture and write descriptions. Maybe you can write it like as if it's already happening, as if you already have it. Great way to put yourself in the manifestation mindset. So I hope this helps and enjoy.